Hey y'all, hey, let's get into this intuitive reading, this intuitive message, this divinely led reading, led message for Peach McIntyre. This reading is alleged and for entertainment purposes. Sometimes the tea is hot, sometimes it's not. You gotta watch the video to the end to determine for yourself. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're always here, welcome back, friend. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. All right, let's get into it. Spirit set order in the court. Our current look right off the back, Peach. <laughs> interesting play on words sweet as a georgia peach we do see orange very emotional she's dealing with a lot of emotions there's a swirl of communication spirit is acknowledging that this is around um a flirt or someone being very flirtatious a delicious experience and because of this you are arguing with someone uh the pot calling the kettle black argument grudge uh despair you're not content this is chaotic um, very hostile, like debating, like back and forth, back and forth, back and forth kind of energy. Um, projection, similarity, blame, introspection is needed. And this has her lazying around like a lump on a log, inertia, false start, no response, leaning on spirit, but just over it, tired. This delicious experience, interesting. Yeah, Spirit said that this has to do, thank you, Spirit. This has to do with her um, luring people into her emotional abyss uh, with a promise. And this is layered. So this is towards her as well. Someone's energy towards her. Um, with a promise of adder, temptation, intimacy, proposal, and a message of love. But drowning this person. This person cannot withstand the tide of the wave, you know, the crashing waves with of your emotions and her to this individual as well. I I, I want to say it's her husband. I want to say it's her husband. I, I'm Wood. I've read on her before. But there's an energy that this is layered. Like it's back and forth her, between her and someone else. And Spirit said, if this ain't truth, grits ain't groceries. And you know, that's my still it or deal it card. So they like, that's it. I said what I said. I respect the message. All right. So Peach McIntyre and Wood, what's going on? His energy is coming up. Spirit said, it's just another sad love song. So somebody's showing their true colors in this relationship, okay? Leaving her cold as ice or him cold as ice. And Spirit said, they guilty as charged anyway. But you already knew that. You already knew that. And you got the three witches. There's some three women gossiping, telling your business all over Beyonce's internet. Forcing you to face your fears. Forcing you to, you know, dive deeper within and say, you know what? This this is my situation. They're bringing it to the surface. You can't push it down any further, any longer. You can't suppress it. Peach McIntyre, current energy. Thank you. Look, what's the tea? Spirit said envy, protecting herself or needing to keep herself safe from a bugaboo. A situation is about to explode. And this is in the area of passion. So, yeah, you want to protect yourself from this one because this one is coming with that fire, that heat for that ad. Okay? It's a situation about to explode. It's an involving a fire sign. Um, shit is about to pop off up in flames. I don't know if she's a fire sign. I can't recall. This is in the area of business, but also in the area of passion. This feels like a tower moment. Um, and she is a great actor. And she's going to act around this situation. But also acknowledging that she is very toxic. Not just to others, but to herself. Knowing they fucked up. This is layer energy. She knows she fucked up. And so does he. And I'm just going to say he because that's the energy that's coming through. Okay? When it comes to him, it's always somebody else, okay? I'm just being completely honest. Spirit is acknowledging falling apart. She's falling into pieces around this, ready to stand her ground and defending herself, but also acknowledging that there's a break in contract. There's a divorce. There's something that is just going to happen to her marriage. It's going to just seal the deal, okay? Peach McIntyre, current energy. The athlete. I'm asking about her energy. Willpower, motivation, courage, fitness, goals, routine, self-confidence, desire to succeed, winner attitude, optimistic, go-getter, and focus. That's on the um, surface, right? That's what we can see. Subconsciously, the big chop. She plan on cutting her hair here soon? She do something different with her hair? I see these clippers. Um, 
getting to the root of things, origin, ego to death, letting go, cut off, dismissal, growth over time, root causes, strengthening, starting over, productivity, split, starting over, maturity, development, new look, source, change, humble beginnings, natural beauty. This goes back to that divorce card, talking about something ending, um, having to start over, an ego to death, a big change, humble beginnings. Something is coming your way, ma'am. In the middle of the deck, Spirit has the witch in reverse. Now, when I've read on her before, I said that she's into it. Um, and Spirit just always acknowledges that. But we do have the witch in reverse. We can't see bitch, harmful intent, ill will. Now, this is interesting because all these cards laid out that she was a go-getter, successful. That there's something that's getting ready to come and change for her. It's going to be big. It's going to be um, something that people might be like, wait a minute. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a big change. It's going to be very visible. And it's all solar plexus energy around her. Um, a spirit is acknowledging with this white, there's at the heart of it wanting peace, but there's a lot of communication here. But in the middle of the deck, what we can't see when it comes to Peach McIntyre is the witch in reverse, bitch, harmful intent, ill will, harm to others or self, backfire, dishonesty, forced misuse of magic, spiritual differences, liar, troublemaker, bitterness, groundless, greed, hidden agenda, dark magic, enchantress, and evil spirited, sending her love and light, buying gag and cease the mission of the enemy, because that is some energy we don't one up in here it ain't mine no thank you huh no thank you not my business not my problem peach mcintyre overall energy There's a star card. She is hopeful. She's holding something. This always makes me feel like a baby, but there's this thing about hope and holding fire to is she a fire sign uh subconsciously Spirit just keeps saying, no matter how hopeful you are around the situation, there is an ending. There is transformation. There is new beginning. There is a sudden change. There is a death. Okay? Spiritually, physically. <laughs> However you spin it, that's what it is. Um, and this has to do with the Knight of Pentacles. This has to do with um, the responsible person. This has to do with the practical person. This has to do with this man in front of the house. What's getting ready to happen? What's coming, Spirit, for Peach McIntyre? What's coming? Three of Pentacles, craftsmanship, working with someone, and hard work paying off, partnering with someone subconsciously. Good news. Charismatic, explorative, page of wands, fire sign energy again. So there's something that she's working on with someone and subconsciously for her, this is good news. It's working in her favor. She's really open-minded to this. But in the middle of the deck, what we can't see is this is overwhelming, stressed. She is riddled with responsibilities, struggling, lost focus, major challenge. And this is because of the Knight of Cups. So doesn't matter how much success she has in the middle of the deck. This situation with this Mr. Lover Lover always, always brings down her house of cards. She's stressed about it. She's stressed about this love, this relationship. And it's, it's literally two steps forward and a million steps back. She loses every time in this area. And honestly, it feels like this is not your person. And so you're not on your righteous path. You can't stay on your righteous path because no matter how far you get, this pulls you back. This pulls you back because you won't release it. Her overall energy with wood. Thank you. The lover's card in reverse. Imbalance, one-sidedness, disharmony. Spirit is acknowledging that she needs to go seek counsel. She needs to go get help, get therapy, find someone to speak to this about. Because there's been lies, cheating, stealing, trickery, scheming, hiding identity, strategic plans in this relationship. 
And it's time for karma. It's time for karma to rear her head. And, you know, show, bring, bring what you're doing in the dark to the light. Honestly. Good luck. Because now the pendulum is swinging. What's next for Peach McIntyre? Every time I read on her, her, her relationship, ooh, it's heavy. She's moving forward. She's focused, focusing on her ambition, focusing on determination, stamina. But then there's this King of Cups, a lot of emotion, of which she's thinking about her husband. She's so emotional around him. And it's it's almost controlling to an extent. Like having to know everyone, his his every move. I mean, she's so filled with emotion around this man. But she's, you know, she's trying to move forward and have control and be determined around this marriage, around with this man. With the Queen of Swords, she's going to move forward with him, being truthful. Being blunt, having a no nonsense type of approach. Why? She's so emotional around him. It's like, it's overly emotional. But moving forward, she's going to be no nonsense. Why, spirit? Thank you. Hey. Thank you. Because of the money. <laughs> it looks like they threw money up in the air. And she's trying to get her grounding, her footing around this money. It feels like there is a struggle. So if she wants to be self-sufficient and a boss. And, and have a thriving business. She's going to have to be no nonsense. When it comes to him. And her goals. Blunt. Focused. See, because she has, she has some dreams. She has some desires that she wants to come to fruition. This card came out already and she's playing with that magic to have it. Now, y'all can say what y'all want to say because every time I pull this card and it come out, it's interesting because people say, she said she's not into it. Yes, she is. Allegedly. This reading is alleged. But the cards don't lie. You into it. You doing something. Spirit is acknowledging that every time I pull on her energy. With the Queen of Cups, she's intuitive. Um, with the Queen of Cups, she also wants this to help her in a way. Whoever is helping her manifest things, she also wants to manifest her being more softer, more empathetic, more supportive, more motherly. And, and feminine, why? Feels like she's trying to be more feminine, why? Ah, with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Things ain't going your way, huh? <laughs> You're dealing with lousy luck and unwelcome changes and setbacks. That's why you want to change things. But this isn't going to get you there. That's not. Temporary. Maybe. This reading is alleged and for entertainment purposes. Now we sit back and let the universe do what the universe does.